Hey teachers, a few weeks ago I shared a video here on my channel all about how to use checkboxes in Google Sheets to create self-grading rubrics and checklists for your classroom. Now I know that Google Sheets can be a really intimidating tool. I was intimidated by it for a long time and I want to help you feel more confident about using this Google app in your classroom. So in today's video, I wanna show you how you can create drop-down lists to create self-checking interactive assignments for your students. For a long time, I was scared to use Google Sheets as an educator because I was really intimidated by all those formulas and some of the different tools inside of Google Sheets. But a few years ago, a teacher friend of mine showed me how I can use this Google app to create some really fun and easy interactive assignments and organizational tools for my classroom. So now I wanna pass some of that information on to you as well. We're gonna go ahead and jump straight on my computer and I'm going to show you how to add drop-down lists and not only how to add those drop-down lists, but also make them self-checking for your students. All right, so I have got this ecosystems quiz here and I've decided that instead of printing it and having all of my students take it pen and pencil, what I'd like to do is move it into a Google Sheet and I would like to add a component to it so that they can self-check their work and know what they got wrong and what they got right. So you can see here, I have already put the first three questions into this Google Sheet and now we wanna add a drop-down menu next to each of these with the multiple choice responses. So to do that, we're gonna click on the cell that we want. We're gonna click on data and then data validation. Now, as long as you've clicked on the cell that you want, it is automatically going to fill in the cell range for you. So under criteria, you are going to change this to list of items, and then you are going to type out the list of items that you want to appear in that drop-down menu, and you are going to separate each one with a comma. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up as I do that. Now, after I have finished typing in each of the responses, I want to make sure that this check mark is selected next to show drop-down list in cell. That's going to put an arrow in the cell so that students can clearly see that a drop-down list is there. And then I'm going to click save. And you can see this arrow appears with all of those options that I just typed in. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that for the other two questions as well. Remember, you click the cell that you want, click data, data validation, change this to list of items, and then we're going to type out that list of items, separate it by commas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this process for the next two questions so that way you don't have to watch me slowly go through it. All right, so now I have added those drop-down lists for those other two questions so you can see students have options to choose from. One thing to keep in mind is that the drop-down list is going to appear in the exact order that you typed those responses in. So keep in mind that you don't wanna type a correct response in the same position every single time. Another thing that I wanna show you is, let's say you wanna add the same drop-down menu to a bunch of different cells. You can either highlight all of the cells that you wanna add that same drop-down menu to, or you can click the column to select all of them, and then you would just go through the same steps of clicking data, data validation, and list of items, and whatever you type, that drop-down list will be applied to all of the cells that are highlighted. All right, so now I wanna take this a step further and I want students to actually be able to self-check their work and see whether they're answering the questions correctly. So this is actually very, very simple to do. What you're gonna do is you wanna click on the drop-down menu that you want students to be able to self-check. Then you're gonna click Format and Conditional Formatting. Now where it says Format Cells If, you're gonna click on text contains. Now the correct answer for this question is water. And when you type the answer, keep in mind that spelling does matter, but I have found that capitalization does not matter. 
then you can select a color here that when students select the correct item, it will change to that color. So I actually like this green color. It shows that it's correct. So I'm going to click done. Now you will be able to see that when I select water, it turns green. If I select any of the other options, it stays white. So this shows students that they have selected the correct answer. Now I'll show you how to do that one more time. You're going to select the drop down menu that you want, click format, conditional formatting. You're going to change format cells if to text con contains and the correct answer for this one is grassland. So I'm going to type grassland. Remember, check your spelling. Capitalization does not matter and click done. And now when we select grassland, you will see that that is correct. All right, so as you can see, creating interactive assignments in Google Sheets is actually not hard at all. It can be very, very simple. And I've showed you one way that you can use these drop down lists in the classroom, but there's also tons of other possibilities. For example, you can create logs, student lists, surveys, interactive assignments, and assessments. And I'm sure you've probably come up with some ways that you can use these drop down lists that I haven't even thought of. So if you have any other great ideas for using this Google Sheets tool, go ahead and let me know down in the comments of this video. I'm sure other teachers would love to hear your ideas as well. Last, if you're a teacher watching this video, that probably means that you are using Google Drive resources with your students all of the time. So I just want to end this video by showing you some Google Drive resources that I just added to my store that you can easily use with your students. My math activities for Google Slides include a variety of drag and drop, drawing, and typed response questions that you can use to review almost any fourth or fifth grade math standard with your students. These interactive digital activities are perfect for things like centers, homework, virtual learning, or test prep. They also help prepare students for those tricky TEI items or technology enhanced items that you may see on state testing. If you're interested in learning more about these math activities for Google Slides, I have linked them down in the description for this video. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you found some new ways that you can use Google Sheets in your classroom. So until next time, happy teaching.